Hey guys, welcome back to Camera V Stuff. And um, this week I want to go over this uh, gadget that I received. It is the U10. Let's try to get the light there. U10 uh, OBD scan tool, right? And I'm actually going to use it on my vehicle because I've got a cold right now. Um, and I want to see how, if we can actually delete it, right? Since I already know what it is, it actually tells me on the on the board on the um, on the panel but it looks pretty sturdy it's got a data port right there it's got another one right here right and that's so you, when you're ready to upgrade the software or there's any updates on the software you're able to do that um, you can tell it's very simple to read you've got arrows up and down you got okay and it's actually the way it looks All right you'll see it you'll see it working right now but that's the manual by the way which don't really help you much um, this is the cable that it comes with and there's your parallel cable there and then your OBD uh, port there for your, for your vehicle and then you have this cable here which uh, is for your updating it's just the one on the side so let's get into it. Hey guys, so right now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to use the U10 scanner on the vehicle. And uh, I was trying to locate it first, which you can see it is, where is it? Right there. And I'm gonna get my son right now to help me. Say hi Kev. What's up? So he's gonna help me hold the camera while uh, I kind of go over the uh, the menu and stuff. Like I said, I've never really used it for anything, and I actually don't know how to use it. And the instructions were kind of difficult to interpret. So here we go. So the things that I did understand were, you know, make sure you connect everything and do not disconnect or connect while the vehicle's on so right now the vehicle's off and i have to get in here and connect this thing you want me to show where we're plugging it in i already showed oh okay so we're good and i'm gonna connect it right here here And if you can see, it came on, right? Mm -hmm. It's simple enough, up, down arrow, right and left, and then you got your okay. Is that what it is? Escape button? Hmm. Okay. And then you have your question. I, was, I did this thinking it was touchscreen. It's not touchscreen. So, you can tell right here, right, it's giving you several, several readings, and we want to read the codes, right, so we'll hit OK. Oh, okay, so this is where you would enter. If there was any codes that you received and I guess it's got a library of the ones that you of the codes that you have received cool information that is cool I mean it's got a couple things that would be nice Let's go to tools and see what it does. Hmm. No. I wonder what print data does. I guess uh, the print data would be if you had it connected to your computer. 
can't imagine that you have it uh, that is going to print something here. So on the dashboard, we have an emissions. Oh. An engine, right? No. Yeah, but that problem popping wow. up. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to run the diagnostics. Diagnostics. You should be one. All right, let's. We're on a mission. All right. Figure out what the heck is wrong. Car. What do you think? It says lost communication with instrument panel cluster. What is that? I have no idea what that means. I have to look it up after. I'm gonna hit record the TC. All right. Because now I'm gonna wanna delete it. Emission related. Oh, it's picking up what's wrong with the car. So please turn ignition on with engine off. Press enter key to continue. Oh. Okay. So I guess if you press it twice. Twice is the key. A little unconventional. Oh, okay, so what, what's wrong now? I don't know. We'll try it again. Erase codes. Okay, so it says that it has been cleared. So the key is to not have your engine running. Right. Not have it in accessory mode, but have it in... Ignition mode? Ignition mode. So, Which if for you these? had a regular key, your first one is your accessories. The next one is ignition, which I guess turns on your vehicle system. Uh, you can tell that even the AC kicked in. And then an accessory one, it didn't. The only thing you saw was like the the radio and the front panels kicked on. But And you also, you can tell that you no longer have the, that maintenance one, that's because we got to change the oil. But you don't see the other one anymore. You don't see the engine working. The emissions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess it does work. Right? After a little bit of fondling. Yeah. And that's really because. We have no experience. Yeah. I never used this thing before ever. But we so. got it to work in under eight minutes. Yeah. We figured it out. We figured it out. So I'm pretty sure that after people watch this. You know, they'll have. You'll figure. It. I think we didn't. We didn't have any problems with uh, figuring out how to use this software. It's easy as can be. The problem was we couldn't figure out how the push button, how to put it in the actual ignition mode that it was asking for. There's no for. key. It's just a button, you know. So there it is. It works. It cleared the, the problem. All right. So there you have it. Here's the scanner right you saw it working um you saw a delay in trying to figure out what i had to do but that was mainly because i didn't know how to get to the ignition mode on my uh push button ignition or start on the vehicle it wasn't uh this guy's fault so um you press it once for accessory mode press it twice for ignition mode and of course you want to turn on the vehicle you press the brake and push the button at the same time. So, could have been a, a lot faster, a lot quicker, but it still did the job. I was able to erase the code, which saved me a lot of money, right? And um, that is that. It works. Pretty durable. Look at this. And it's, I mean, it's going to be difficult to kind of break this. So, there you go, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next week with another product. Peace.